Hey folks, Fernando doing a video for More Survivalists and today I'd like to address a question that I got through Instagram about which is the best barrel length, 6 inches, in this case it is a 5 and a quarter or 4 inches. I also got, got, got asked in Instagram about a, a 2 inch barrel snubby revolver, if that makes sense. By the way, my Instagram is fairfile308, if you want to follow me there, I post something every once in a while, probably every day, and I answer questions as well, if you have any doubts, anything you you want to uh, ask me about that would be one of the best ways of, of contacting me so fair for 308 and leave the link there below now it's um it, it's a fair question it's something that people uh, wonder about especially if you haven't had experience with uh, different barrels i've had a number of snubby revolvers i have two inch barrel revolvers um, a three inch four inch would be this one a five and a quarter and six inch barrel in the case of my my python um, so kind of have a little bit of, of experience in, in these things now your opinion changes the more experience you have and as time goes by you see things in different ways each one has their merits but let's do a little bit of a comparison between um, a six inch barrel or five and a quarter longer barrel and a, a shorter one like four inches which i think are the more the um, reasonable ones right well what would be the advantages of a, of a longer barrel the first one the obvious one would be accuracy with a longer barrel you shoot more accurately now notice i'm saying you shoot more accurately doesn't mean that the gun intrinsically is more accurate um, a two inch barrel barrel is a perfectly accurate gun. Four inch barrel as well, five, six, doesn't really matter. The thing is it's not all shooting equally, mostly because of the person pulling the trigger. We're all different, some folks are better at it, but in all honesty for most of us the barrel length, the distance between sights is going to be helping and help, helping a great degree. I personally noticed that with a, a, a two inch barrel very difficult to get a nice group. Of course it can be done and you take your time. Some people are naturally gifted and shoot better than others but even with a little bit of practice you take your time and you can come up with a nice group. It is a little bit more work. The longer the barrel the greater the sight, uh, sight radius the easier it is. Now for example with, with a 4 inch barrel which people, this is something a lot of folks don't notice but they think of it as you know the 357 Magnum 4 inch barrel that's a kind of like a service full size gun. Sure it, it is comparable to a service pistol but when you look at the distance between sights and notice this, notice how much more sight radius I have with a Glock 17 compared to a 4 inch barrel K frame size revolver. I have a lot more sight radius. This is why it's a little bit easier to make nicer groups uh, with, with this type of gun than with this one. Um, now at the same time with a gun like this one, uh, five and a quarter, you know, not even six inches, but we already have, let me see if I get that to align. Uh, there it is. So I have a little bit more of, of a sight radius with with a revolver and that you can sh you can tell when when you're shooting it you can tell because of the groups you get with it it doesn't seem like a whole big of a difference but it matters a, a centimeter or more give or take does make a difference and even more so of course with an actual a six inch barrel with a six inch barrel here in the python check that out that is a, a a centimeter at least of, of extra sight radius and it shows in paper. The other thing would be velocity. With a, a longer barrel it's more powder burning inside you get more velocity in that projectile. Again it doesn't seem like a big deal because the difference between a four inch barrel, six inch barrel it's gonna be 50 to 100 feet per second depending on the gun, the ammunition, but safe to say between 50 or 100 sure so you have more power on the longer barrel but one of the things that a lot of folks don't quite realize when you're using jacket hollow point ammunition 50 feet more or less can make the difference between expanding 
or, or not expanding at all. It's that big of a deal. So you have to check with your ammunition, but with faster velocities, you're more likely to get full proper expansion or to have it fail. If it fails to expand, it's just gonna be going through like an ice pick. If it expands, it actually has a lot more stopping power. It's a lot more effective, the kind of wound it, it creates. So you definitely want to take that into account. More velocity is better, no doubt there. Another thing is less recoil, more control. With a bigger gun, with a heavier gun, it is easier to manage recoil, pure physics. Heavier gun is going to be taking more energy to displace it. So, and this is kind of ironic because many times when you see in movies, TV, when you see smaller framed people or, or women, they have a gun, they usually have gonna, they're going to be having a, a smaller, tinier gun that I guess kind of looks more reasonable, makes more sense, but that tiny small gun, that snubby revolver, is going to be having a lot more felt recoil than a larger one. And in, in terms of barrel length, the more barrel you have, you have weight specifically where it's going to be helping controlling that muzzle flip. Now, if you see some of the you know, target shooting revolvers, some of them even have like weights added to it specifically so as to do that, so as to control the recoil and the flip of the muscle a little bit better. It's specifically placed in a rail along these lines, give or take, and that's something that's actually done to control such thing. In a longer barrel, that naturally occurs putting more metal in that specific spot. That is definitely a plus. Then you have less muscle flash. For the same reason, you have more velocity, it's more powerful are burning inside of the barrel, um, with a shorter barrel, it's going to be more powder burning outside. More powder burning outside means greater muzzle flash. How big of a deal is it? Really depends. Some ammunition is specifically made so as to have lower uh, muzzle flash, but safe to say that in general, shorter the barrel, more muzzle flash, and in, um, in a given self-defense situation, shooting at night, the chances of you getting blinded, sometimes it's over, sometimes it's exaggerated, but it is a possibility with a longer barrel, um, less likely to happen. Um, on the on the side, on the negative side, yeah, of course, a bigger revolver with a longer barrel is going to be you know, a little bit harder to carry. You know, let alone carrying conceal a six-inch revolver, not so much. Usually, you're going to be seeing a, an outside the waistband, a, a traditional belt holster, like in a, a '80s cop or like in The Walking Dead with <laughs> with with a python in a big patrol a rig. Sure, that is more likely to be a thing. It also has the disadvantage of not clearing leather as fast. If you have to pull all this barrel out of a, of a holster, it's going to be taking a little bit more time than just, I mean, you're drawing the gun and then you flip it towards the threat. That is easier to do with a shorter barrel. It's just more, you know, it's faster. Again, doesn't seem like a big deal, but when, you know, fractions of a second count and when you're doing the kind of training, that sort of thing, the shorter barrel helps. Now, some of the advantages of the shorter barrel would be a faster sight alignment. If you have a good stance, that is not nearly as much of a big deal because you quickly see that front sight. But with a shorter barrel, it's also true that it's easier to have that quicker align than with a longer barrel, which if your stance is not all that great, it takes a little bit more poking around until you get to that point. Um, so yeah, if a faster if a side alignment is easier to carry, those would be the advantages of of the shorter barrel. Now, which one is best? You know, trying to answer the question that was being asked, and I don't like to you know leave it up to you know, whatever you want. Um, specifically, if you're asking, giving a proper reply. So the proper reply would be this one: If there's a chance that you're going to be, ca depending on where you live, your situation, if you have the, the possibility of maybe carrying that gun then you probably want to go with um, a four inch barrel revolver. That is kind of not as good as a five, six inch barrel, but not nearly as bad as a two inch barrel revolver. It's still that sweet spot of, okay, it's going to be decent enough and is a reasonable gun to uh, be to be carried. Even if you don't carry often, if there's a possibility of you eventually doing so, this makes more sense. Now, if that's not the case and you simply want a gun for taking to the range, shooting, having a good time, and using it for self-defense at home, you know, five-inch barrel, I used to think that a six-inch barrel would be not that ideal, 
but it is going to be easier to control, better shot placement, easier to shoot accurately. The disadvantage is, of course, the longer the barrel, the easier it is for someone to grab it. That is, in my opinion, not as, if you balance both things, it's not as likely to be a, a problem as it is the disadvantages we were talking about, and it's way overcompensated by, by the advantages that a revolver with a longer barrel has. Um, one of the things that a lot of folks don't keep in mind is the, the person that is uh, first getting used to a gun, he's going to be going to the range, and he's, if he's not hitting his target, and he, if he's not grouping nicely, then let's say a new shooter with a two-inch barrel snubby revolver, it is kind of you know, a disappointment and makes those shooting sessions tougher and not as nice. It's more... Um, people will get more committed and will, will feel more confident if they know that they're shooting, they're hitting what they're shooting at and they're grouping nicer. That gives people more confidence in their weapon and it's something that encourages you to keep training, keep practicing more. That's all very positive. I think that outweighs the chances of this happening, which all said and done is really not all that often that ends up happening. Having said all this, if you live in a very tiny, very small apartment, this Nubby Revolver as hard as it is to shoot in a very small confined uh, apartment a minimalistic kind of uh, a flat or apartment where you're not maybe even going to be aiming much more of a, a point of contact type of you know, shooting like um, extreme close distance maybe that in that case a snubby revolver fits your bill but that would be my advice in general for general use, home defense, target shooting, your first gun, five inch barrel, six inch barrel, at least at me, for me, makes more sense. If you're gonna be carrying a gun, then four inch makes uh, for that ideal Goldilocks in between spot. Folks, I hope you like this video. Keep in mind, I'm gonna be doing a live stream today in the channel, not today, I'm gonna be doing a live stream tomorrow in the channel, 4 p.m. Central Time, uh, Sunday, tomorrow. Have a great day, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button See you in our next video.